<sighs> okay, first and foremost, let's just get this out of the way. The Tower 900 from Thermal Take is not for the faint of heart. Moving that thing around is a chore. That said, this video, I'm going to talk about why I'm upgrading my workstation to a Vega 56 in 2019. So let's go ahead and check it out. So now I've been running this Ryzen based water cooled workstation for a little over a year now. It started out as a Ryzen 5 1600 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, GTX 980, 250 gigabyte Western digital drive for the workflow drive. Overall, it's treated me pretty darn well. However, some things have changed over time. I've made some upgrades. I went to a Ryzen 7 2700X in there and I upgraded to 32 gigabytes of RAM. That was great upgrades on this system. And I also had a handful of water pump failures. Never buy alpha cool water pumps. Those things, I had four of them die on me, four. I have two reservoirs in here now, but I'm actually only running one loop with one pump. The second reservoir is just sitting there with an alpha cool pump and it not doing anything because it doesn't work. Anyway, I've made some upgrades, I've made some changes, now I need to make the biggest change of all, which is I need to change out the GTX 980 for this Vega 56 card. You may ask why I'm going to a Vega 56. Quite simply, the price is the driving factor of this. I picked up this card refurbed off of Newegg for $229. You also have to remember that I am working with a water-cooled system here, so I had to buy a water block as well. I got this Barrow block from Performance PCs for $99. Any card I looked at, I had to consider not only the purchase price of the card, but also the purchase price of a water block to go with it. The GTX 980 cannot render ever since the Premiere Pro 2019 updates. It can export videos, but I can't do a preview render of the timeline. If I go ahead and do render into out, render selection, it will not do it. Refuses, cannot do it. GPU render error right away. So I think that's a card issue, best I can figure. I've tried all kinds of different drivers. There are no content creator drivers available for this card, only for the newer cards. So it's time to just, it's time to put it out to pasture and move on to something else. At a $229 price tag on this card, it's really, really attractive right now for the price to performance ratio. I need to get this cooler off here. I need to get the Barrow water block onto here, drain this system, swap out the card. Let's get into that. Now I got the water block installed on this refurbished card. I bought it from Newegg and they said refurbished Vega 56. Uh, I have to say used. Used is a far better statement for it. It looks like all they did was wipe down the outside of the card and maybe blow through it with a can of, of you know, compressed air. Because once I pulled the cooler off, well, you can see here, it was bleh. The barrel block, the instructions were terrible, of course and completely not specific to this card. So I had to look up the EK instructions just to make sure I didn't miss anything. It was pretty obvious, but I got that done. So I'm ready to go ahead and drain out the system, pull out the old card and get this one in there. And we are drained. So I was trying to look up how to hook up the RGB connector on this thing because it's a weird three pin one and it's meant to work with a certain controller that I don't have. So this block will not have RGB. Moving forward with not as much RGB as I could have had. I know that's really gonna hurt my performance. So it's time to go ahead and switch out the GTX 980 for the Vega 56. Let's get to it. Here's a cringeworthy moment for you. I got these EK fittings good and tight in this block. So.
break for the completely unglamorous portion of actually putting together a system like this. Yeah. The way you actually get air out of it. Back to the B-roll. The workstation is back up and running. It's in my office. It's ready to use. I'm happy to see it ready to go. Let's get to the performance numbers. How did this actually do? I did two tests here. I ran a Premiere Pro export, one of my own projects, this week's Hot Rod Hippie YouTube video with a YouTube export. It's GH5, 4K footage, Lumetri color with a lot applied and color correction uh, tweaked on top of that. Transitions, motion graphics templates. There's even a, a Adobe After Effects composition in there. That video exported on the GTX 980. I tested it out yesterday, timed it, 15 minutes and 35 seconds. With the Vega 56, oh, drum roll please. 15 minutes and two seconds. Now, in my defense, I am really heavily considering, since I got the GH5, I'm not really liking color correcting the GH5 vlog footage in Premiere Pro. I'm really finding I'm not doing that well with it. It could just be me and I, I absolutely do think I need to learn, but I'm really considering switching over to DaVinci Resolve when it comes to color correction, at least on bigger, more important projects. Vega 56 on DaVinci Resolve gets utilized a lot more. So that was one of the deciding factors in this whole changeover for me. All right, let's go ahead and talk gaming performance. I only ran one benchmark for this. This is not a gaming machine, it's a workstation, but I thought that people might wanna see that. I ran the Heaven benchmark, 1920 by 1080, ultra settings, no aliasing. I, I didn't get too crazy. I just bumped it up to ultra preset and ran the benchmark. The GTX 980 came in somewhere around 2,700 for the score. The Vega 56, 3,700, that's a 50, not quite a 50% improvement, a thousand points to the score. And I want to say I gained about 40 FPS to the average FPS score. That I'm pretty impressed with. That I was happy to see. I'm going to have to see how this thing with more memory than the GTX 980, how it's going to work for me in After Effects, how it's going to work when I switch over to DaVinci Resolve for at least color correction. I've got a lot to think about with this. Probably time to start setting aside money to go Quadro. I'm not gonna build an Intel system, but a Ryzen 3000 system. That may be happening yet this year. Stay tuned for that. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it was somewhat interesting for you and I hope it doesn't end up being 17 minutes like the last one did. So thanks for coming around. Thanks for checking this out. Drop it a like if you think it was worth it. Go ahead and leave a comment down below what you think about this. Am I stupid for running a Vega 56? Should I flash it to the bios of a Vega 64? What should I do with this thing? Let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date with the random content that I create. Thanks for coming around, folks.